Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Milan Alicia here. Today I'm gonna to be dyeing my hair from this chestnut brown color to a jet black color. A few months ago, I bleached my hair blonde and it was a complete fail. My curls became very damaged, unmoisturized, and it just looked an all around hot mess. So I tried to fix that by dyeing my hair a blue black on top of that bleach blonde color because I thought the blue black would make it shiny. I thought it would help my curls look more defined, but that also just continued to ruin my hair since I was using more and more box dye. And then that blue black eventually faded to whatever this chestnut brown color I have in my hair right now. So I went to Rite Aid, I picked up this Clairol Natural Instincts in the color Jet Black. So my hair is currently, I guess, like this dark, chestnut brown and i hope it comes out to be like this shiny black color i really 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 do like the color i have in my hair i feel like it brings out my skin's highlights and i've had it like for the past few months throughout the winter but i know that it is time for a change so i'm just gonna go ahead and dye it black and if i don't like it black i'll just dye it another color i'm gonna divide my hair in half and then divide each half of my hair into another half. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create the hair dye. When you open up the box of hair dye, it comes with the hair color developer. Well, they call it the color activator. It also comes with the hair dye itself, which makes sense because this is a hair dye. It has this brilliant shine conditioner that you use after you dye your hair, when you're ready to wash everything out. Instructions and some gloves. If you haven't used box dye before, the instructions are pretty basic. It comes with the developer and the hair color. Those are the only two ingredients that you need. So what you do is you untwist the developer and then you untwist the hair color. The hair color is sealed, but then it comes with this pointy thing on the top that you just stick in it to open it. And see, now it's open. Then you squeeze the hair color into the developer. Then you twist the developer top back on, and then you pop off this little lid thing. You just pop it off like that. Then you shake it up until it's nice and mixed. What I do before I apply color is apply either some Vaseline or some coconut or some type of protective barrier around my scalp and like you're protecting my forehead and my ears and stuff. I'm just gonna grab some of this Vaseline. I probably didn't need I probably didn't need that much Vaseline, but you know, you know, you gotta be gotta protect, you know, that skin. It looked like that meme when that when that uh when that baby put the the, the grease or gel or whatever it was all over their head. That's exactly what I look like right now. Uh, but then I go ahead and put on these gloves. Now it's time to go ahead and dye this hair. So I'm gonna unclip this section at the back. Squeeze this hair dye in my hand. So now I let this hair in my hair for about 20 minutes. It's already starting to turn black, but you have to let it give it some time to sit in those hair strands and get inside those cuticles so you can get that nice uh, color that you're looking for. So I'm gonna let this sit 20 minutes and then hop in a shower and rinse it out. I tried to throw my hair in like this high ponytail, but it, yeah, it just didn't work out. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go wash this out. I just got out the shower and these are the final results. I like it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because I have had black hair before and I dyed it as soon as I turned it black because I'm just not consistent with a hair color. But I do like this. 
it's not as dark as I thought it would be. So like, I don't know if you can see this, but like, it's like, if you look at the ends of it, it's still like sort of brown. Like it's not completely black, which is fine. I wanted it to be all black, but I mean, I'll have a nice little highlight in the sun. The only thing I'm hoping is that this doesn't turn green because it was like blonde before and now it's black, well, brown. I'm just hoping it stays like this type of color and not green because that, you know, that won't be good. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you are new to my channel or if you've been to my channel before, make sure you go and watch a few of my old videos. Let's get these views up. Let's get these subscribers up. And also follow me on my social media. I'm on Instagram at Milan Alicia on Twitter at it's Milan Alicia LinkedIn at Milan Miller and I made a TikTok but I might not use it and that is that it's Milan Alicia and once again thank you for watching see you in my next video bye